sooner has one New York skyscraper risen above its neighbors than another is on its way to reach a little higher. In 1966, this area was raised to make way for the towers of the World Trade Center. A thousand workmen removed 164 outdated buildings. Miles of telephone cables, pneumatic tubes, gas, steam, water, and sewer lines were relocated or removed. In 1969, from 70 feet below street level, the first tower rose toward its 1,350-foot destination. The unique tower design permitted many building activities normally accomplished in sequence to take place at the same time. Large open areas free of columns are a major feature of the tower buildings. Closely spaced vertical columns provide the load-bearing strength instead of the customary interior steel skeleton. In late 1970, the last piece of steel for the tower was hoisted over a quarter mile into position atop New York's tallest building. The North Tower of the World Trade Center was topped out in December 1970. The South Tower was completed in 1971. The purpose of the World Trade Center is to increase the flow of international trade. It brings together 130,000 people each day people of business and government involved in processing international commerce. The towers are occupied by the communications, financing, transportation, and education facilities required to carry on business more efficiently. At the World Trade Institute, businessmen and women from the world's trading nations study ways to expand and improve international trade. These towers are becoming the world headquarters, a United Nations of world trade.